What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. It's a beautiful day, sunny day. Um, getting into this episode, I'm not mad at Victor. Victor was happy as shit when he heard Vivian was dead. <laughs> I don't blame him. I do not blame him. Vivian, she had to go. Even though I don't believe Vivian's really dead. I really don't. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I don't believe Vivian's dead. Vivian is definitely alive. I believe that. Because we all know, evil, evil don't die. And Vivian was as wicked as they come. You can't kill Vivian. She'll be back at some point. Um, They'll come up with an excuse for her to be alive. But um, I can understand why Maggie is neutral on this whole Eve, Teresa thing. Because Maggie doesn't really know the whole story. Victor never really told Maggie the whole story. Um, I hope that he does tell her what the hell is going on. I mean, she just feels like Teresa, you know, she abandoned Brady and, and Tate. But Victor knows better. Victor's like, nah, she didn't do that. And that's why he's been defending her. Because he know what the story really is. And he definitely is not fond of Eve and Brady being together. Because he doesn't like Eve. Um, for good reason, I feel. Because I'm not really a big... I mean, the character of Eve, I kind of like. But as far as her and Brady together, I'm not a big fan of that couple. Um, and when Brady wanted to propose to her again and them getting married and stuff like that. I'm so glad Victor came in when he did and he told Brady that he had something to tell him about Teresa. I hope Victor tells Brady the truth about Teresa, about why she left, what she's been up to. I hope he tells her. I hope he tells Brady because I feel like if Brady did marry Eve, it'd be a big mistake. Um, and I find it just nasty of Eve. Like, why would you want to marry your sister's baby daddy? Like, why would you want to do that? I mean, I know it's soap customs for people to do stuff like that, but it's just a little weird. It's like, you're going to be the stepmother to your nephew. It's kind of weird, but I digress. Um, I just find the whole relationship sickening, to be quite honest. It's like, they're boring together. Teresa with Brady is pure fire. Like, together, you're going to get crazy fun. With Eve, I just feel like she's a little Debbie Downer sometimes. It's like, no. There's no real chemistry between them. And I hope Victor tells Brady the truth. Hopefully. I don't think he probably will. But he's probably going to come up with another excuse. Um, I am so freaking happy that Teresa and Chloe were trying to figure out a way to get the hell out of there. Like, she and Teresa... Chloe and Teresa came up with a plan. When Mateo, when um Miguel came in, when Miguel came in the room, they came up with a plan to pretend like they're fighting, so that way he could break it up and she could swipe uh, Teresa could swipe his keys. Once they did that and stuff, and he took uh Teresa out of the room, I felt bad for Chloe when she was just sitting there crying and stuff like that. Um, I hope Lucas comes to rescue them, but hopefully they could kind of rescue themselves. I'm just saying, like. So, Teresa got the keys, went into uh, Mateo's office, I guess, and opened up a drawer or whatever and found a whole bunch of hard drives and stuff. Probably some evidence against him. But, lo and behold, guess who came into the fucking room? Xander. For those who don't know who Xander is, he's Victor Kiriakis' nephew. That bastard. I keep forgetting he was alive. I forgot Damos sent him away. Um... So he came up in there. I said, oh, Lord, Xander is about to cause some trouble. We all know he is. Or maybe he might just help Teresa. We don't know yet. I mean, I have a feeling he ain't there to be all helpful. He there to cause some trouble. Um, I don't. Here's the thing. I hope. You know, Lucas can do something to help. Like, I don't understand why he, he said before that he was going to go to Mexico. And he was going to rescue them, you know, not rescue, but he was going to go to Mexico to figure out why uh, Chloe left. But I'm like, you're still in Salem, though. Why are you taking so long to go to Mexico? Like, you should have been hopped on a plane and flew your ass to Mexico. 
Um, Kate, I can understand as a mother, as a parent, as a parent, I get where she's coming from. Like she wants to protect her child, but you know, cause any mom would, you know, any parent would, they would want to protect their kid. But at the end of the day, it's like, he's a 40 something year old dude, probably 50. It's like, all you can do is give your advice and move on. Like he, like she said, the heart wants what the heart wants. So let him have what he wants. If Chloe is what he wants, back off. I'm pretty sure all of her kids were not happy when she married Stefano. I'm pretty sure all her kids were not happy when she was dating Clyde Weston. They were not happy when she married Andre, but they did not interfere in her marriages, in her relationships. Her kids have not interfered. They minded their business and they let her do her against their better judgment. Because she's an adult, she knows what she's doing. Lucas is an adult, he knows what he's doing. Kate needs to back the hell off and just go about her business because she in enough trouble as it is. She better be happy she wasn't charged with murder and that it was self-defense when she shot Vivian. Um, but it's like she got enough on her plate, too. So it's like, why are you so worried about what he doing? If he want to be with Chloe, let him be with Chloe. That's his business. Like, I don't understand why she's so into that relationship. It's like, butt the hell out. It's none of your business. Let that grown man do what he want to do. Be who he want to be with. It's like. Kate needs to just chillax. But Lucas, Lucas was about to throw that letter in the fire. I'm like, Lucas, do not throw the damn letter in the fire. Please read between the lines, get a plane ticket, go to Mexico, and get Chloe. Duh. Go get Chloe. Obviously, she's in some type of trouble to make a big decision like that overnight. Like, she made that decision to go to Mexico in a quickness after she told him she wasn't going to go. Shouldn't that be bring up some red flags to you to go find her? Obviously, something's wrong. Like, get a clue. Like, he should have been on the first plane to um, Mexico by now. It's like, I don't know what's taking him so damn long. But, like I said, I feel like Vivian is definitely coming back, though. But I actually like this episode. This was a pretty good episode. Hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about it. And I hope y'all have a good day. See y'all later. Peace.